Go through it, Joan! Oh my god! Run! No! Hello everyone and welcome to the first mission of the Joan of Arc Extreme Campaign. The first mission is an unlikely messiah. These campaigns were made by the creator, which I'll put in the description below, because I can't remember his name right now. However, it's not the same creator as the Barbarossa and the William Wallace Ultra Hardcore games, although they were inspired by those campaigns. And uh, let's get started on the first mission. An unlikely messiah. Let's see what this has to do, ha what this has in store for us. Escort Joan from the camp at Vaclour to the Chateau of Ch Chenon. Joan must survive. That's the best of my French. France's enemies are Britain and Burgundy. Be on the lookout for their forces. We have to fight the British again. Ooh. Do not expect much assistance from the demoralized army of France, but be alert for any soldiers who might be inspired to join your army once they see Joan. That sounds good. Protect your two knights. They are your best fighters and know the lay of the land. Don't worry about your economy. Just get Joan to her destination. Okay, don't worry about your economy. Of course. Keep an eye on Joan's self. If it gets too low, move her back. So pretty obvious stuff here. Nothing, uh, nothing we don't know about. Uh, this scenario is uh, usually no eco. Get one, from one point in the map to the other without losing all your troops. Bonjour, Joan. My colleague and I will escort you to the Chateau of the Dauphin, or else we will die trying. I am Jean de Metz, and I will protect you with my life. Yes, hello, Jean de Metz. He was alive at this point. This must be in the past, from the Barbarossa campaign. All right, we have some different you units here, too. I have heard your claims and believe what you say. We will follow you to Chinon. All right, so we get a Teutonic Knight this time. It's actually looking a little easier. That, that should be better with the Teutonic Knight. Forget what we get last time. Might be a men at arms, or we'll see. Wait, you might have need. Oh, but I get skirmishers here instead of archers. Mm. Okay, so we have a little bit of a different army this time. We have our two heroes making a comeback. Well, <laughs> this is where they were originally from, Sir Bertrand, Sir Metz. We have Joan here, 125 HP. Our enemies, the British, are out in force as their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. Discretion is the better part of valor. All right, and we have some wolves here. Thanks for the cheer, Nerd Rage Quit. Great French. <laughs> Say hi, have a great stream. I will, I will. Okay, so these, uh, these wolves, I think they didn't attack in the campaign. I can't remember. All right, so let's kill off these uh, these wolves. Scenario has 75 population. Walls and Imperial Age are available to Joan. I wonder how we'll reach an Imperial Age. All right, so far so so good. None of these uh, none of these wolves were ordinarily the wolf, and we should have a little bit of a battle here if you remember your original campaign. I always, I always want to get in there and, and attack. Attack the British! Get the longbows! Oh, another glorious loss of friends. Wait, where, where? Oh, he went back. Okay. Yeah, I really can't do anything. Alright, kill the British! Kill the British! Go! Go! Go kill the siege onages. Oh, I get a base. Okay. Oh! Sir John Fastoff, he's got a mighty army. Mm. Alright. Hmm. No resources. Bunch of wood. Um. You know what? <laughs> nope. I'm gonna try to beat this without the villagers. I'm gonna try without the villagers. See if we can't beat it this way. I just need it to be a little bit more extreme. You know? We got through the Barbarossa Ultra Hardcore campaigns. I feel like we could get through this. Without any villagers, without cheating. Because we could build a base. We could build a base and defeat Sir John Fastolf. But what, what is the fun in that? What is the fun in that? Joan is a mighty warrior. Look at her. 125 HP. Four attacks. She could take on Sir John Fastolf. From from his knight, from his horse. Besides, all the soldiers are facing the wrong way, so they won't expect us at all. All right. All 
All right, let's have the Teutonic Knight do some work, and we can come in the back and get these, uh, these archers. Oh, they do some damage. They do some damage. I lost a skirm already. Stop attacking. No, 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 attack him. Oh, damn, I don't want to lose another one. These guys are upgraded, man. One armor. These are mighty enemies. Okay, so I think we lost a skirmisher in that engagement. That's uh, that's not too great. Let's kill the outposts, because that's what we do against outposts. We destroy them. This is the highwaymen. Some random bandits, I suppose. I must survive. Defeat or evade Falstaff's army. Alright, outpost is down. Let's continue. So far, nothing too extreme yet. I mean, uh, might have less units than before. I have this big army to uh, go against later on. Nothing too different. Well, there's no gate in this wall. <laughs> I think there's supposed to be a gate. Uh-oh, let's avoid them. Yeah, skirmishers have no armor or upgrades. Better micro a little bit. Alright, good. Doesn't matter, these archers have no upgrades either. Oh shit, a paladin! No, 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 no! Well, he's a hero, he can regenerate. I guess Joan can regenerate too. I think. Yeah, she can. Okay. The highwaymen are getting sophisticated, huh? A freaking paladin. Alright, so let's go north, try to find some siege weapons to get down that wall of Burgundy. We haven't met Burgundy yet in these campaigns. Or, no, we, we met them a little bit in the first Barbarossa mission. They weren't really much of a threat. So let's use the heroes. The heroes can, uh, can obviously regenerate. Oh boy, getting low. The Titan Knight is high in armor, but it actually can't regenerate. This is getting close. Perfect, perfect. So I'm just gonna run around like this. Good, oh, okay, there we go. We defeated the Highwaymen. One opponent down, um, one more, no, two more to go. The British are here, too. I can't remember, were the British, the British weren't part of the scenario originally, were they? I can't remember. No, they must have been. It's been so long since I played these missions. All right, so we're just going to sit here for just a little second. Make sure Sir Bertrand could heal up. We don't want to lose him like we lost Sir Metz in the Barbarossa Ultra Hardcore video. I do wonder if there's an Easter egg over here. I hope there, uh, hope I didn't miss it. And let's continue on our journey. So I'm gonna have these guys hot keyed up. Scout a little bit with these guys. So we're looking for some siege weapons. There should be a nearby town up ahead. Oh no. Burgundy has sent an assassin to kill Joan. Defeat the Burgundian assassin. I want to. I don't want to complete that objective. I want to go away. I want to avoid this assassin. Is it one of the deer? I feel like it's one of the deer. Oh, here he is. He's not too. He's not too strong. All right, run, 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 Bertrand. Hey, right, there we go. He wasn't much of an assassin. He just kind of came out and uh, and attacked us head on. I was expecting like a wolf or like a something like a deer or, or like a walking tree. That would have been more sneaky. All right, let's heal up a little bit again. He was pretty. He was pretty formidable. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> Start. Oh. 
as usual. My colleague and I will escort you. That wasn't fair! Or else we will die tonight. Oh my god. I am Jean Demet. And I will protect you with my life. Oh, I gotta be careful with that, uh, that, that fast speed. It wasn't that bad. I lost the skirmishes at first, but the second shot really killed me. Jesus. Alright, one more time. There. You're not archers, you're skirmishers. You're di it's very different. Very different. Our enemies, the British, are out in force, and their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. Discretion is the better part okay. of Alright, we're gonna take care of these guys, these wolves. Um, in the meantime, let's check if there's an Easter egg up here. Okay. The dark, a oh, black day, yes, exactly. Alright, some bodies. Not really seeing much. A lot of bodies. Oh, we got some knights! Nice! But we also get some uh, enemies. Run, Pikemen, run! Okay, you gotta sacrifice yourself. Okay, not bad! There was an Easter egg up there. I got one knight. <laughs> I got one knight. Okay, and one Pikeman. I guess every little bit counts. No, don't kill the actual knight. Oh, kill him. Okay, congrats. We got one knight and one pikeman up there. What were they doing? Were we were just holding them prisoner? Oh, don't die to the wolves! Don't die to the wolves! Those wolves are strong! Protect Joan! What are you doing? Alright, so this is the second try. I think we can get on the second try. Alright, we're gonna watch the battle here. We could heal up a little bit. Maybe they'll win this time! No, no, they're gonna lose. They're, they always lose. There must be some alternate universe where the, the French win this battle. I don't know, through some dumb luck. I hope you really can turn the tide of this war. Nope. <laughs> All dead. I come for you, Joan of Arc. That was supposed to be French. Ugh. Any Easter eggs here? Nah, doesn't look like anything. Alright, let's go back down. We gotta fight the uh, the highway with high may hi hi highway men. It's a terrible name for a group of bandits, the Highwaymen. And the bridge is blocked off. Alright, let's go fight the Highwaymen. Okay, uh, let me let me do my control group real quick though. Okay, so we want the heroes. There we go, the fast heroes. They'll take out the archers, the rest will take out everyone else. Alright, here we go. So, take out the pikemen. Oh, no, not the knight, though. Not the knight, not the knight. You guys can take these guys out. Hi, women, playing on your travelers. What has become of our homeland? Good. Good fight, good fight. Did we lose anything? I don't think so. No, we lost. Well, we lost one skirmish. That's okay. Alright, we already know there's some walls here. We don't have to, uh. Don't have to be a dead horse. Maybe I go kill those archers, but, uh, let's move on up to the north. I remember there's a pallet. Yeah, let's stick together because there's a pallet up here. Remember. Now, the weak defenseless knight always likes to go in the front, and I keep messing up my hotkeys. Here we go. Let's go flush out that, uh, that paladin. It's like the king of the highwaymen. There he is. Oh, it's it actually it's called Bandit Leader. I'm glad I clicked on him. Alright, and we're gonna safely heal here. I'm on the lookout for any surprise onagers. It's always the surprise onagers that get us. Alright, we're gonna take him up to 100. 
just can't stand the blinking up there. Check it. All right, we're up to 100. By the way, if you don't know how to speed up or slow down the game, it's the plus or minus buttons on your keyboard. The Highwaymen have not been defeated. I guess that's because we haven't destroyed their outpost yet. Outposts. So let's go look for some siege weapons to take down that wall that's still over here. And uh, avoid the other siege weapons. Alright. Here we go. Fight. Try to get our heroes to, uh, well, no, they're just going to go after the skirmishes, okay. Okay, there we go, defeated the high women. Nice. Um, we lost two skirmishers. I think that's all we lost so far. We lost two skir skirmishers. And we won't get these units back. So I uh, gotta be careful here. We have to defeat the assassin and then the siege onagers, remember. So we should get past this part. No excuses if I don't get past this part. At least past the onagers. Okay, so we got an assassin coming here. Okay. Our healing units. Let's go. Let's back down a little bit so those uh, onagers don't just come and surprise us. All right, here we go. Where is this assassin? He's a very bold and brash assassin. He likes to attack head on. Okay, do okay, don't. No, no, don't attack the. God damn it. There we go. All right, we're gonna go all the way back here so we can heal. Maybe that assassin did kill us last time, because without him we wouldn't be healing. And biding our time. Alright, it's good enough. Alright, I'm gonna be careful here. Okay, so it should be around here. Oh, shit! <laughs> is that the same one? No, no, the last one was red. This is a different one. Okay, we killed it. We killed it, but we, we have no more skirmishers left. And Joan is getting low! Joan is getting low! Oh, that was close. Oh, man. Mini heart attack there. 35 left. Alright, we gotta heal again now. Gotta heal again. Maybe we shouldn't be uh, be at our enemy's line of sight with this outpost. This is why Wallace wanted to destroy all the outposts, because they could see us. I just want to hide somewhere. Hide somewhere safe. The remainder of this game. And we'll never get to shit on, but that's okay. We could be tree people. We could be like the highwayman and just rob people. That's the story of Joan. She robs people. Good. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. It's good enough. Okay. Let's go back. Hopefully, no surprise siege onagers this time. And let's uh, let's stagger. Well, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay. All right, we're going back to uh, regular speed now, and uh, I got my fingers on the uh, the split key, just in case we need it. Let's uh, send the knights forward a little bit. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here's the line of sight. It's all shadows. All shadows. All right, right here. I don't know, should I use saves this time? I feel like, hmm. Yeah, let's use saves this time. This uh, saving takes forever. What do you guys think about saving? You think it's good? 
<laughs> I feel like we've gone through the uh, we've gone through the opening stuff uh, two more times. I don't know what I'd say the third time. Save in case I lose Joan. Okay. You mean when I lose Joan, not in case I lose Joan. Oh boy, it always gets me nervous that this will just crash right here. There we go. Okay, Joan Extreme 1. Save 1. There we go. My objectives have changed, okay. Nothing serious. Let's go find our siege weapons, okay? Got some farmers. Oh, uh, okay. They're just kind of standing there, not really farming. Oh, great! Seatram, too. Look at that. That is beautiful. What is up here? Are you mad? Across a bridge lies a Burgundian castle and many men. Turn back at once. That sounds like a challenge to me. I bet there's some sweet prize if we uh, defeat that castle. Let's go see. Let's go see. So we got some units here. I bet the Burgundians have some prisoners up there as well. Let's go defeat this castle. All right, got a guard tower, two guard towers. We can take that out with a ram. Four, okay, three guard towers. Oh, they're all attacking Joan, that's okay. They'll be down in no time. Right, let's go after this tower now. Oh, there's the castle, okay. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. It's okay, it's a siege ram, it's not a regular ram. There we go. I can't wait to see what the prize is for uh, destroying this Burgundy castle. There we go. Let's go. All right, there we go. Totally worth it. I know. <laughs> Let's see what loot is under this castle. Could speed up just a little bit. Oh boy, it takes a long time for one ram to destroy a castle. And there we go. Where's the loot? Where is the loot? <laughs> I don't see any loot. Well, why did they warn us about the castle? It's just a castle against the edge of the map. Why would I ever go near the castle? Unless there was some loot. It was just a waste of the voice actor's talents. To tell us to warn. It's like warning warning a kid, don't eat that candy. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no reward here. Fuck. Okay, so I, it's not not that I mean I lost a halb and uh, half the HP on my siege ramp, but that's okay. <laughs> How was I know I was I was supposed to believe them? Everyone in these campaigns are usually dishonest. The thing about dishonest people, you can't tell when they're telling the truth. Okay, a little little flag here. No other soldiers though. Let's go uh, destroy the uh, Burgundy uh, walls. We're, we're kind of, I'm kind of angry now. Kind of angry at Burgundy for not uh, not storing any loot in that castle. It's like no one lived there. It was an abandoned castle. All right, let's destroy this outpost because I'm mad. That's what I do when I'm mad. When I'm angry, I destroy outpost. All right, so let's get through these walls. We don't have the skirmishers left to take out the archers. That would have been nice. Oh, we do have some units in here, though. I forgot about them. But they're just militias. Basically worthless. No mangano behind the walls. That's that's what I like to see. So this is A-OK. -okay. What if they gave us a siege tower instead of the ram? How funny would that be? We wouldn't be able to get the knights over, but... Oh my god! Okay, halves. Halves. Oh shit, I only have two halves left. Fight! Fight! 
checking the HP of my heroes. Okay, the halves are doing work. The halves are doing work. Great. Okay, they're all dead now. I needed the Teutonic Knight too. Oh no, Sir Bertrand! We had lost the ram. Okay, we lost Sir Bertrand. We lost the ram too. Fuck. All right, let's get out of here. All right, this. Oh man, that that knight, the Teutonic Knight's dead. Okay, it's just us two now. Just us two. And remember, we have to face Fastolf's army, remember. I hope we find some reinforcements here. This is looking pretty bleak. Normal wolves? Hunting wolves, okay. And a longbow. Fuck. Bra! Wait, wolf lord? Oh shit, these are, these are super wolves! <laughs> oh no! No! Fuck. Alright, good thing we saved, I guess. God damn. Bertrand Ripperino. That's what the original campaigns were missing. They were miss missing siege towers. Alright, so I guess we're not going to attack that castle this time. Alright, so uh, let's do this. Let's do this way that it was intended. Alright, the useless militia go in the ram. Alright, let's go. Why can't I get- I don't know. These lazy ass farmers. Alright, let's uh, try this again. We have to face the wolves. Um, having a lot of HP on the ram would be ni is nice here. And then we have to face Wolf Lord. Here we go. Alright, I kind of want this shoot at mess. That way I keep some of the HP on the ram. Here we go. Surprise! Fight! Alright, Joan's good. There's a dumbass militia walking around. Oh, they're attacking Joan. Joan. Let's go back. Go back in the right. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I wanted that help. God damn it. No, we go. Oh, my micro sucks. Do you even see heal and rams? They feel like they should. All right. No, I really want that help. We get that cavalier left. Okay. Uh, attack that help. Good. Attack the two dotting knight. There you go. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. So much damage. That's a lot of damage. Right. Avoid the wolves. Don't go to the wolves. There. All right, we still have the ram left, so uh, let's have the ram attack the. Uh, have the wolves attack the ram, or the, or the wolf lord attack the ram. Wolf Lord. Lord of the Wolves. Oh, they do attack the ram. Oh, but Jones in the ram, I forgot. Move faster! Alright, I hope we don't need that ram. Okay, not too bad. No, go, go kill him. Let, so he looks like kind of like a Robin Hood. As far as stats are concerned, I don't know if you know what Robin Hood stats are, but I sure do. See him enough community games. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Look at where we're at. Sir Metz is still alive, Sir Bertrand's still alive. I find it funny, Sir Metz has better stats than Sir Bertrand. It's kind of like, uh. <laughs> he's like better in every way. 
Heal, heal, heal. There we go. Good enough. All right, so looks like another peaceful field over here. We had a nice peaceful village over here. I can't wait to see what uh, what trinkets await us in this peaceful field. Hopefully, some more siege rams, some more uh, more highwaymen. There are Burgundian soldiers everywhere. Hurry, what are you talking, talking about? We can make our oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> get it! Get in the transports! The stupid Teutonic Knight is so slow! Get in! Oh, we made it. No, not the Teutonic Knight! Okay, we made it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was that was not pleasant. That was not pleasant at all. Alright, but we made it. Okay, I don't know if there's any uh, anything else for us over there. Two transports. They have more than one HP, luckily, this time. And uh, let's see where we want to land these guys. Alright, that looks like it's Cliff. Oh, shit! Don't remember that. Oh, it's Fast Hall's army is over here. Okay, let's land right here. Alright. We could use these transports later as a distraction. Oh, 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 that's our ally, okay. You mean to lead the oh, we get the siege on it this time, okay. Nice. Since this war began, very well, you have six more soldiers, John the Maid. It's funny, everybody's saying that, like, exactly that way. Go back to her sheep. Oh, okay. I didn't have any sheep here. Okay. Okay, so we gotta fight Sir John Fastolf's army. Two <laughs> trebuchets, bunch of paladins. Frankish Paladins, uh, possible Iron Boar, and this is what we got. Oh. There's only one way to do this, folks. One way to do this. Oh, I can't even use the can, can I use the transports? Come on. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I, okay. We gotta keep the transports alive here. Alright, crossover. Please, no triggers. Please, no triggers. Alright, this is it! The moment we've all been waiting for. Where we faced, uh... Burgundy's army and uh, his um, very strong soldiers in uh, all in formation with our little uh, little band of uh, soldiers. Uh, we have Joan here. She's very slow. Oh shit! <laughs> Go fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Go through Joan. Oh my god! <laughs> run! No! Run! Run! Run faster! Run faster! Run! Jesus Christ! Oh no! We almost made it! We almost made it! We almost made it! 5 HP! 5 HP! 7 HP! Go! Holy shit! This is close! This is close! I did not micro that at all, but I think Joe's gonna make it! They're taking the same mission on, same me pikemen, spearmen's. Oh my god. I was so close. I can't believe we made it out of. Oh my god. Save me. No, su no surprises. No surprises, please. The British! The British! Save me, militiaman! Okay. Why are the British here? The Chateau of the Dauphin. Oh, thank God. Thank you. The thank Dauphin you. Will see you now. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, my God. All right, there you go. That's the first mission of Joan Extreme. I hope it was everything you uh, wanted it to be. Well, I, that, this champions really threw me off in the last second. That was, that was awesome. I was so close, so close. Wow. Any, any uh, Easter eggs we missed? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, no reward there. 
little champion here from the British, but uh, doesn't look like any Easter eggs. So this is available in the Steam Workshop. We're going to go into mission number two. This is a full campaign. You can, of course, play it with the villagers here, but uh, I wanted to play it without just to, uh, to emulate the original campaign. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in mission two of the Joan Extreme campaign. See you then.